Joining us now is former FA Executive Director David Davis and the National Chairman of the Football Supporters Federation, Malcolm Clark, who's in Greater Manchester. Good morning to both of you. Um, let's talk to you first of all, if I can, David. You know, why have we got to this point? You've been in the FA for so long. Um, did you sense change were needed and why couldn't it be done from the inside? Kate, the FA has been trying to reform itself. Mm. I can go, even in my life, I can go back to the 1980s and there were reform programmes in, from inside. And they failed. We failed. Why? Successive people. Because of the structure of the organisation, because of the way it's governed, and there are, there's, everybody says it, but it's true, there are loads of good people there. There are people who've served the FA unpaid for years. They do incredible work from the parks to the top of the game. But the, they, they do not represent the, the best way of governing anything, let alone a sport, the national sport, in this country. So do you think it's this, this debate that the MPs are going to have today is going to make any difference whatsoever? Well, it's part of a process. Some of us were involved in writing a now mm. controversial letter before Christmas uh, calling you know, for government intervention because we had failed. And, uh, you know, that we're now the infamous five, I heard it mm. referred to today. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that, yes, turkeys in certain turkeys, I'm one of them, are voting for Christmas. White, middle class, can I say balding, men are, are saying this is not good enough. The FA should be the best governed body in the country, not one of the worst. OK, let's, let's speak to Malcolm Clark, who's um, the national chairman of the Football Supporters Federation. Malcolm, I thought it was quite interesting listening, I don't know if you heard, to those Leicester City fans after the game last night saying that there's no figurehead for the FA in their minds. Of course, Greg Clark is the current chairman. He really is the figurehead. People don't really know who he is. What do you think needs to be done? Do you think he needs to be more high profile? Well, I think we would clearly agree that there is reform needed in the FA, and certainly the FA Council needs to be more diverse than it currently is. The problem I have with the analysis of the so-called Famous Five and others is that it puts all the blame on the FA Council, whereas, in fact, the FA Council has relatively limited power. Anything that has financial implications is decided by the board, and also, the Premier League and the Football League have a golden share in the FA, which means that nothing can change without their approval of any significance. So I'm a little bit mystified as to why people aren't asking the Premier League and the Football League would they surrender their golden share so that the FA can become a properly effective governing body for the whole game. Okay. So I, I fear that some of the analysis is simplistic. Uh, and I agree with Davis that, David, that a lot of the excellent work that is done by the FA is, is not recognised in some of this debate at the moment. So we want to see reform, yes, but let, let's not just adopt sim simplistic analyses. Do you, do, I mean, you were nodding when he was talking I, about the Premier League releasing... I, I agree with just about all of that, I have to tell you. And the, the truth of the matter is that the effort that we made and bringing three former chairmen, the three past chairmen, two former very senior executives together, and they have all, one after the other, come to the same conclusions as to what is wrong. Now, you may not like one of us or two of us or three of us or four of us, but are all five of us no, wrong? But the question ended up being then, from the outside, I'm sure Malcolm mm. will agree, why aren't they changing? If you've said it and, and, and mm. Greg Dyke said it and Lord Treason and everybody's saying it, just change it. There has... Well... <laughs> Because the structure, the way, this is why it matters to the fans. The way the structures of, uh, of football are set up, there are, for example, there are no agreed priorities of English football. You can't tell me what they are. Mm. I can't. The FA has priorities. The Premier League has priorities. Mm. The Football League has priorities. But there are no agreed priorities. And the other thing that's happened is the gap between the richest and the poorest has got wider, not narrower.